I'm going to show you my method for speed farming and progressing as fast as possible in Clash Clans. If that's not fun to you, let's get into it. If you take a look at my attack log, you're going to notice that every single attack I do is making me a very large quantity of elixir. And you're also going to notice that these attacks, there's not a lot of time in between each of them. So that way I can fill up my storages and always keep six builders going at once. If you want to learn how to farm as effectively as possible, you want to learn my method of farming, then make sure to stick around because I'm going to be teaching you everything you need to know about this farming attack strategy. So if that sounds like fun, let's get into it. So first of all, here is the composition. It's just 93 sneaky goblins, 2 junk spells, and 4 haste spells usually. In this scenario, I have 6. It doesn't matter. You can bring some super wall breakers as well. They're surely going to help. I just didn't feel like training them up. You want to match two hay spells, pair one jump spell, and when you put down one jump spell in battle, try to put down two hay spells so that you can kind of match it up. I'm going to show you why you need those hay spells very soon. So I would say this is a perfect example of a base I want to attack. So typically, you need two sneak goblins, two to three on every single storage, and you need just one on every single pump, collector, whatever you want to call it, just to be safe. You can put two if you really want. And pretty much all I'm doing is looking for dead bases and just putting around one sneaky goblin on every single resource thing, taking it down so that I can get as much loot as I possibly can. And then if you want, you can also take down the town hall, which I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second. So look, I'm waiting. I'm looking for what else I missed. And there, I missed some stuff all through the top right. Notice I use hardly any troops yet, so my return on this attack is amazing. Using Electro Dragons, they're expensive, but Sneak Goblins are very cheap. It's just that initial 25,000 Dark Elixir that's gonna run you a bit, but if you do this properly, you're gonna make that back in absolutely no time. And so, look at what I do next. Let's go times four, because I don't even remember. So look, here, this is why I use Haste Spells. If I used just Jump Spell on its own, it would've possibly knock took the town hall down so like i put down the jump spell and then hay spell hay spell per each jump spell i look to put down two hay spells and then i make sure that there's a clear path going towards the town hall this is called you know, go a goblin knife because you kind of go to the center goblin knife is when you like target the elixir storages inside the base and just like so i took everything i wanted to like the army cost virtually nothing and so this was a very successful attack now when you're doing the stack strategy, it is completely fine to lose because you're going only after loot. So once again, I'm just releasing one sneaky goblin on every single resource type building. I'm just spreading them around the base, maximizing the amount of loot I'm able to get. We can go times four because it is the exact same thing every single attack and I'm looking for dead bases. And here I'm putting the jump spells all around the base just like so, so I can get the dark elixir and then I knife inside the base a little bit i actually failed that a little bit because i forgot that there was a storage right here but it was completely fine because look at the amount of loot i got from virtually no troops a full army like this look how much that costs Fifty thousand elixir and just 250 dark elixir that's around what you're going to be using every single time and what you want to do is you want to use a boost and then you can essentially speed farm if you just so happen to see a base looking something like this where there's a hole right beside the dark elixir storage look one, two, two sneaky goblins, nothing more, maybe one more, okay, one more sea goblin, three more, nothing more, those three sneaky goblins got me 3,000 dark elixir, very amazing, you know, I don't even know what to call it, just three sea goblins for 3,000 dark elixir, that's an amazing return, here you go, I found another really good base, now it's not quite dead, but they have a lot in their storages which isn't quite what we're looking for we're looking more for stuff in their uh, pumps and collectors but honestly it has a million so it's gonna have to do and i'm sure it still has a lot in all of the collectors so once again just going all around the base just putting one on everything and look already i collected so much and then we can go ahead with uh, let's go jump floor right here and then something like that so let's start off by taking down the cool storage and then for the elixir storage 
And then I think I can actually go for the Dark Elixir storage right there. Inside of the base. There, I'm still going down. And then I can go ahead. Let's go another jump spot right here. And two, just like so. So let's go like three or so. And then we're going to spread them pretty evenly, evenly on both sides. They're going to be taking down those storages just like so. And then if I want, I can also put down my queen or something to quickly just take that down. And that is a successful triple. Look how much loot I just got from that attack. Didn't use that much troops. I made 10,000 Dark Elixir, 850,000 Elixir, and 1.3 million gold. So as you can see, this is a very amazing attack strategy. Let me show you a, the knife portion just so that you kind of get the point of how to do it a bit better. So here's a base. Once again, exact same thing. I'm putting down a sneaky goblin on just about everything. And I stole pretty much all of this guy's loot, I think, if not all. And then here, I noticed. I thought for a little bit. And then I noticed. So look. There's no resources anywhere around. You can just jump spell here. Two haste balls towards the town hall. If the jump spell is big enough. And then we can just send in our sneak goblins and they're going to go towards the town hall. And just like that, we're going to take down the town hall super quickly and easily. And it's going to be a three star. Or not a three star, but a one star. And look at that loot we just made. Easy triples, or not triples, why do I keep saying three stars? Easy loot. And farming like this is my method of farming. And I think it's the most efficient way in Clash Clans to farm. Thank you so much for watching, I really do hope that you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already because I upload Clash Clans con every single day at 2pm and comment what you want to see next or if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.